Rangers won Liverpool 7 in what was Rangers' heaviest ever European defeat, and that was suffered here tonight at Ibrox Stadium. Rangers actually took the lead after 17 minutes. Scott Arfield got the goal just to give their home fans a little bit of hope and belief, but it all came crashing down when Roberto yeah, Firmino equalised. And then Firmino added that second goal just after half-time. Third one coming from Darwin Nunes, and then when Mo Salah was substituted on, the writing was on the wall for Rangers. He added a fourth, fifth and sixth to make it the fastest ever UEFA Champions League hat trick. The icing in the cake then, the seventh goal from youngster Harvey Elliott just to complete the demolition job tonight. We were speaking to Rangers manager Giovanni Van Bronckhorst post-match to question the mentality of his players. You know, we, we, we have to change our mentality, that's for sure, because we, we can be very strong as we show today, but you know, when we are not there uh, mentally, um, then our levels drop really, really quick. And we also uh, perform, you know, way less than we than we should do, and that's um, something we we need to avoid for for the future in this in 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 this you know this competition, but also in the league. You know, it's uh, definitely an, an, a, a thing we uh, we have to improve if we if we were to be successful this season. We also spoke to Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp, who refused to criticise Rangers, saying that they simply met his side in the wrong moment. Obviously, it was then really difficult for, for, for Rangers to defend us in these moments. I know you probably will write tomorrow the, the breakdown or whatever. I don't think so. We were then really just on it. And meeting us in the wrong moment is not cool. But meeting us in the wrong moment for us was now too often not cool for us and um, so we have to change that that's what we are working on you can hear more from Giovanni Van Bronckhorst and Jurgen Klopp across all of our social media channels over the coming days. And don't forget, tomorrow we will discuss this match all in more detail on the football show on PLZ Soccer's YouTube channel at 4pm. Do not miss it.